I welcome this opportunity to speak to the people of America about a subject which I believe to be most important, and that is the subject of physical fitness. A country uh, is as strong, really, as its citizens, and I think that mental and physical health go hand in hand. There is nothing, uh, I think, uh, more unfortunate than to have uh, soft, chubby, fat-looking children. I hope that all of you will join and everybody in the United States to make sure that our children participate fully in a vigorous and adventurous life. There's been a, a 50 percent decline in sperm counts in uh, the last 40 years, along with a precipitous decline in testosterone production. We're at it for a calamity. Once a society collapses, then you're in hard times. Well. Hard iron sharpens iron, as they say, and those hard times inevitably produce men who are tough, and then they go on to re-establish order, and so the cycle begins again. No one in Washington seems interested at all in why testosterone levels are dropping. It's a joke to them. Just watch the reaction to the preview of this episode. Why are they all naked? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, this trip into Tuckum's dreamscape is absurd. I mean, testicle tanning? You can't watch that and not see how homoerotic it is. Some pretty blatant fascist posturing. So if men want to stay male, they must be fascists and also gay. That's what the media tells you. This is a slur that is used to prevent healthy forms of male association, so that even basic friendship is now suspect. Masculinity as a result has retreated into pathetic spaces like the man cave. So if you're a man and you want to get together to do anything other than watch a sports game and get intoxicated and eat wings, that's the only permissible expression of masculinity. Well-ordered, disciplined groups of men bound by friendship are dangerous precisely because of what they can do. They can upset the status quo just like that. A few hundred men can conquer an entire empire. Coming from a Fox News anchor, that is a refreshing and positive celebration of homoeroticism. <laughs> Good for you, fellas. Good for you. You want to demoralize the people. You want them emasculated. You want them to create no threat to the ruling regime. Daily Caller Patriots have access to thousands of exclusive articles and interviews, including with such great people as Tucker Carlson, Megyn Kelly, Candace Owens, Donald Trump Jr. It's time to ditch the corporate narratives and the media spin. You deserve so much better. Become a Daily Caller Patriot today.